Good morning, readers and writers. Here we are again, another common word study. Today's word we are going to look at is quad. Quad. The meaning of quad is four. Simply means four. The word part itself is a prefix. You will see it at the beginning of an existing word. And the origin of quad is both Greek and Latin because it is actually the, the word for four in both of those languages. So quad means four. So let's look at some words that contain the, the prefix quad and see how it relates to the concept of four. The first word is a quadrilateral. You probably recognize that from math, don't you? Quadrilateral. This here is a quadrilateral, just a random quadrilateral. If you remember learning from math, a quadrilateral is a shape that has how many sides? Yep, four is correct. That's why it's called a quadrilateral. There are lots of different kinds of quadrilaterals. Here's just a random, un, un, uneven, you know, non-regular quadrilateral. But there are also squares and rectangles and rhombuses and trapezoids and all sorts of different kinds. But quadrilateral itself is a word that means a four-sided figure. Lateral means side. Okay, the second word, quadrant. Here's an example of a quadrant. A quadrant is something you probably also have seen in math. A quadrant is simply a, a diagram that's divided up into four sections. Each section is referred to as a quadrant. Quad means four. So um, you usually use something like this when you're dealing with integers and slides and slopes and all those kinds of things as you'll get into when you get a little bit higher math. Um, but if you remember the kind of setup where we have the positive negative numbers you know, vertically and then the positive negative numbers horizontally as well. But each one of these pieces is called a quadrant. Okay, so it's called a quadrant because there are four of them. The third word is quadruple. Quadruple. If something is quadrupled, it's kind of increased uh, four times the amount, the original amount. Here's an example of a bus with quadruple windows. There are four rows of uh, windows versus the one, and we could say it's a quadruple bus. I love that. And then the fourth word is quadricept, or quadriceps, plural. Those are the muscles that are in your thigh, and the reason that the, it's referred to as the quadriceps is because it's actually composed of four different smaller muscles that kind of work together and band together and constrict and flex at you know, different times that give you that thigh movement that you need, and actually it's some of the strongest uh, muscles in your body, the pack that are called your quadriceps, and they're at the front of your thighs. So that's why they're called quadriceps, because there's actually four of them that kind of make up one big strong band of muscle there in your leg. So there you have it, an awesome common word study for today. We explored quad, which meant four, and I hope you look for quad words in your daily reading. And remember that quad means four. Have a great day.